Hello, my fellow fool of the Samurai players. Zarip here with the Maju. Hello. Hello. And we drew a 1080p for our viewers on a stream of Majutsu. No, I actually changed it to 720p because I have had complaints. Yeah, but it's mostly bitrate which matters, uh, not uh, resolution. Which I also so. lowered, of course. Okay, so people have more smooth experience on stream and I hope more smooth experience on my channel. But you may not get the whole match because I don't have enough space to record it in Luzlas. Anyway, <laughs> here we are having uh, Oleg Vadimovic against uh, Alisar on Dragon War um, tournament. Last big uh, Fall of the Samurai tournament, as I like to say. And uh, very similar mods. Uh, Alisar slightly... No, absolutely yeah. similar This, this might be an issue. Yeah. The only thing there is changed that uh, LSR is red and Oleg is brown on the yeah. the thing in the middle. Well, for LSR we have... No, it's LSR uh, black uh, singy on the moon. And for Oleg Vadimovic we have red singy on the moon. And Oleg yeah. Vadimovic already gets uh, first uh, volley near the shrine. So, will you go over his build? Okay, for uh, Oleg we have... Three Yari Key, one level six and two. I don't know, Saber Cap actually mixed in level two and a Yari Key level two. More shots in the middle. Uh, his level six Yari Key is getting shot at. A Red Bear that is on the hill next to the shrine is being shot at. He has Shogun of Guard Infantry, White Bear, uh, Shinsen Gumi Police Force. Hmm. Yeah, he Weird. A Red Bear and a Revolver Cap standing there, or uh, moving with the other Cav units. A Melee gen, it seems. Yep. Hmm. Full so melee gen. And another revolver cab and two Yari key. Saber cab and a Yari key. So four Yari key, two Saber, two revolvers. Sir, uh, decent yeah. cavalry contingent. Peril, and now he pushes heavily. Uh, even cab having two section. dodges. But I'm not sure if he wants to push against Forrest, but... Ooh, ooh. Actually, at least are not entirely No volley in against him. Oh, Sabercap charge in the back of these infantry and marine. Getting a devastating charge. Already killed 30 men. 40. Oh, whoa. 50 men killed in that infantry and marine. 55. Also, the revolver cav going, uh, shooting at one of the white bears. Now, they, at the same time, on the other flank, cav is coming in as well. This is over. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but, one, two, three. yeah. Just revolvers of Alek Vadimovic uh, doing whatever also they Also very want. good at... He's just shooting that revolver cap. He targeted that re revolver cap specifically. Yep. And as a problem is... Well, maybe numbers will win... Still can win this game for uh, Alessar, but he's making one but big mistake. Alessar spent a lot of his funds in level 5 armor strong guns. Yeah, but... The problem isn't there. The problem is that he didn't get this charge staying in a forest. He had most of his force out of this forest. Uh, yeah. Which, like, uh, he look, just didn't expect that cap charge right away. I think. How would you not expect it when you see one, uh, like, he was surrounded? Uh, <laughs> uh, very nice play by Alek Vadimovic, and I think uh, it's in some sense uh, uh, follows. Um, like, uh, Mifu was w very angry after my match with Alek Vadimovic, saying that Alek Vadimovic playing too passively, like campy. I don't uh, agree with that. Uh, I think um, he plays differently, very differently. Uh, but this game now, he may actually lose. Still, that if Trader Marine is actually killing a lot of the Shogun Guard Infantry without counter volleys, and now they shoot some. Yeah, Alek Vadimovic may get this game uh, because of. Uh, not a proper follow-up. Yeah, and the general's almost gone. Yeah. Oh, but this is a bad decision. He pulled, did a bombardment in uh, in the water there. Like, oh, that's only one hit. He got two hits now. Yeah, but to Wasted actually win this game, Alessar needs to pull back his infantry, the marine. Oh, no, but the Yari catch you might get into these Shinsen Gummies and Red Bears. Just see how much they can do. But the Shinsen Gummies and Red Bears have the Sword Jew and the Shrine, so... Yeah, but what I mean is... If Alessar uses this white beast as a front, it would have been much better for him because infantry the marine have a Again. increased range. Again, he did a bombardment in the water. 
Yeah, and uh, for you who may ask why is that bad, because artillery shells and bombardment shells, they do not explode in, explode in the water. And mm, now in the end, Alisar no, screwed up a little uh, bit. Yeah, the bombardment could have really helped, but it's not completely over yet. If he can route mm -hmm. that unit and the, sh the Shogun Guard quickly. But he just kite. positioned wrong, like so yeah. unoptimal. <laughs> they actually did, they had some of them in the water. You, you can see here, they don't do anything. Yep. They do not explode. And now his general would be under fire. But that actually might be a good target. No, he <laughs> so the white bear can shoot at the Shogun of the Guard infantry. In the forest. He doesn't have enough left, but he could have mm. done better. Yes. Like, both players do some... Stuff which they're losing edge, which on a long run, like uh, their control and decision making is a bit unprecise. Which obviously, uh, um, well, in I'm the beginning, it looked very good for Oleg, but his cab uh, it uh, stayed in a fight steam. when, yeah. uh, like, what happened? His cavalry wasn't properly supported by infantry. Even infantry didn't move in uh, far, far enough. Uh, but he still will win, in my opinion, now. So, White Bear against a Shinsengumi. Shinsengumi is going in for the charge. Which is what they're good at. At the same time, Red Bear is going to shoot at the White Bear, so I'm not... I'm guessing well, this is it. Shooting stats of Shinsengumi is actually... Ooh, same Shinsengumi as Red actually routed. Yep. And, whoa, the artillery actually... What? Look at that! <laughs> there are still people at the artillery, and they shot... Shattered, but they still shot. Hmm. Yeah, indeed. Three men and one gun left. Are they gonna shoot at the other units now? Well, they targeted it, but it doesn't seem like they tried to shoot, actually. <laughs> hmm. And as you can see, what Alistar tries to do now is to uncap. Oh, look, melee fight with these remaining artillery guys. Red Bears own them. But they slowed down. Okay, Red Bears didn't lose a single man. Yeah. So. Shrine is uncapped. Alistar may get this. Mm. Yeah. Interesting game, even so there is a lot of questionable decisions. Uh, but maybe that's why it's actually interesting. So the attack order, I would assume, on this white beast trying to get a volley on Shinsegumi. Um, yeah, something strange happening. That's for sure. Shrine is controlled by no one. Wait, what? Oh, who? Okay, Shinsegumi shattered. And now, General of Alessar. Oh, I think it's a huge mistake by Alessar at this point. Like, he charged his general with rally way too early, before White Bears got into position. So, this devastating volley should kill them. But there is no devastating volley yet. Huh? Oh my. Oh my. Don't tell me. <laughs> I should say this white bee is not insanely effective at killing with these flanking shots. Okay, <laughs> Alisar got it. Insane game. And uh, 
this game was it's something that happens uh, it reminds me a lot of my uh, own uh, game against Alistar last game uh, what happened is nicely prepared attack uh, like using advantage uh, of uh, initiative but just not enough losing small ages here and there and in the end losing the game So let's take a fast look at final stats. Are you here, Maju? Huh, sounds like you're not. Okay, unit stats. Uh, I like what damage deployed less because of the cavalry. Mm, artillery, complete waste. Revolvers did well for like Vadimovic. Shinsegumi did in interestingly enough well, but a bit too expensive unit on expensive side. And some of cavalry were wasted. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this recording went well. My first 1080p recording and see you guys later.